This week on War Wednesdays, I want to show you something. Take a look at this. Now you would remember this was one of the several manholes where sewage was escaping onto the road surface, creating an uncomfortable situation for businesses in the area, as well as motorists and pedestrians. Well, the BWA, using several initiatives, has been able to put a lid on the situation for now. But at the end of the day, we have to stay to the task at hand. We have to stay to the plan that we have, which is to bring down the levels. We are beginning to see those levels coming down, notwithstanding the rains of recent. So we know that some of those mitigation measures we put in place in terms of taking some clients offline in terms of the bypass at Bay Street, etc., etc. We know that they're beginning to see results from that. Having done that now, and this is just but one small measure, it gives us some playing room to be able to continue to manage the, ba the balances or the levels as it were, to be able to start dealing with how we're going to manage the effluent, and there is a plan in place, to be able to look at how we're going to examine the blockage and to be able to get rid of the blockage. Meanwhile, there's the lift station on Bay Street. That was also a critical piece to help solve this sewage puzzle. That is also up and running. The Bay Street lift station is online, that is taking flow from Beckles Road as well as some parts of Bay Street and then that is sending it towards Bridgetown. So we are monitoring River Road lift station first because that's the first place that it gets to. We are monitoring that lift station to see how the increased load is affecting it and then it goes on to Bridgetown treatment plant which we've been working fervishly to accept this extra load. So. That lift station has been online and we will check and see how this works out for the rest of this week. Another issue that we have dealt with over the weekend would have been the increase of pumping capacity at South Coast Sewage Treatment Plant. There was a 10 inch pump that was put into operation over the weekend. So that is also removing water from the influent well as quickly as possible, much faster than the other pumps that were there. So that has helped increase the flow leaving the sewer line and hopefully with more mitigation that we're working along with, it will help. The, we also, during this weekend, we've also worked with customers who were impacted negatively with the sewer overflows that were especially affecting their own businesses, our residences. We've been working with them to either revert back to their septic tanks or holding cells within their property or working with them to see where backflow preventers can be installed that it will prevent the sewer overflow from affecting their properties until we can have the sewer line empty and flowing as it should. The Sanitation Services Authority, they have increased now, or they're assisting us so that we can increase our efforts with the sanitization. We want to say a special thank you to the Ministry of Environment for lending us that assistance. And we also want to say a special thank you to the Dr. Kevin George, who continues to work with us closely, and the Ministry of, uh, and the EPD, I should say. The efforts of the ministries will continue as we get this problem under control because we know the health of our citizens is paramount and they work closely with us in order to test the quality of our potable water and the beach water in order for us to be safe and we will continue doing that as we seek to get this problem uh, rested to the ground. We really want to thank all Barbadians. We really want to thank everyone for being patient, for continuing to support us, for continuing to work with us and uh, to and, and, and we have had both negative and positive responses. And we, we listen to all and we try to make sure that we understand where everyone is coming from. But the Barbados Water Authority is very committed to the task at hand. And that's it for another edition of Ward Wednesdays as we continue to keep you updated on what's happening on the South Coast. To view this or a previous episode again, please visit the BWA's website, www.barbadoswaterauthority.com. Or you can go to YouTube and type in Water Wednesdays.